everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here, we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. In this video, we'll show you how to clone yourself with Filmora 10. So keep watching the video till the end. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to keep getting the latest updates. You may have seen a video where a person is talking to a copy of himself, or many duplicates of a single person are performing different actions in a video. It is also known as the cloning effect. By using the cloning effect, you can make your duplicates in a video and even interact with them. If you're telling a story, then you can use the cloning effect to make your video more interactive. It is a fun and creative way to make your videos more impressive and captivate your audience. Now you will be curious to learn how you can do it yourself. We will show you two different methods of cloning yourself in Filmora. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the latest version of Filmora 10 on your computer. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can find a download link in the description of this video. Method 1. Using AI Portrait The first thing you need to do is capture a clip of yourself with still background. Make sure that there are no moving objects in the background, otherwise the video can get messy. Now import this video to the Filmora library and drag and drop it to the timeline. Again, drag and drop the same video from the library and place it in a new track above the previous track. Now we will use the AI portrait feature of Filmora. Simply click on the effects and then from the left side menu, select the AI portrait. Now drag the human segmentation effect and drop it on the first track. It will automatically remove the background of the first track and will only leave the subject behind. Now drag the subject of the first two tracks and adjust it anywhere in your video. Once you're done with all the adjustments, play the video and see how you have easily cloned yourself in the video. Method 2. Using Camera Trick Using this method, you can easily make a twin or triplets of yourself in Filmora. All you need to have is a camera, a laptop, and Filmora. Now, first of all, place a camera at a steady place using a camera stand or a tripod so that it doesn't move. Make sure to choose a steady background that does not have any moving objects behind. Suppose you want to make a twin of yourself in a video. You need to record two different video clips in which you are performing two different actions on two different locations in the frame. Now import both videos to Filmora Library and drag and drop them in two different tracks in the timeline. Click on Effects and select Utilities from the left side menu. Drag and drop the image mask one by one on both tracks. Now double click the track from the timeline and there you will see image mask presets. In track 1, select the preset that blocks the right side of the frame because the subject is present on the left side. In track 2, select a preset that blocks the left side of the frame because the subject is present on the right side. You can adjust the shapes of the masks according to your frame. That's it! You have successfully created an interactive clone of yourself. Now that you know how to clone yourself in Filmora, try it yourself and let me know the outcomes in the comments. I love hearing about all those cool edits that you make after watching our videos. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let us know what else you want to learn in the comments. See you next time! Bye!